our guys were, I mean, we were still coming off the wave of the St. Thomas game. Um, and I knew that energy was so high and I wanted to keep it going. And so um, I'm so happy that we had the opportunity to play the defending champions and let them come in our gym. This is our first home game out of five. And so they were hungry. Our guys have been hungry. Uh, we've had almost two weeks off before this week of games. And, you know, I, w I was excited. They were excited. And I, I didn't want it to be so close. I mean, <laughs> that's always a good game. But, um, you know, um, I, I see myself losing a lot of hair. Uh, this season, but hopefully it's on, in the winning column. Our first two games happened to be two teams that were preseason picked above, ahead of us. And, um, you know, that's good motivation for our guys, but it's so important. It's so important to steal one uh, that we did uh, against St. Thomas. We stole that game at their home, and then we have to protect home court against the defending champions. So we had a big challenge this week. Also, St. Thomas is leading the nation in scoring right now, and, and Flomo, they're I believe they're 12th in the nation in scoring. So we do, we had to lock down and we were able to accomplish that goal. I have a, uh, a method that we do preseason all the way to the regular season when it comes to free throws. And for the first three games, we were like in the 60s and I'm, I'm getting frustrated with the guys. And I know they're putting in the work. I see them putting in the work in the free throw and uh, outside of practice before and after. Um, but I recognize we weren't shooting at home either. So in the last two games, we really knocked them down and to be at home and to finish at 89%, our goal is to be at 75% or greater. You know, when I was in the locker room postseason, putting up our goals, and they were like, Coach, I didn't see us miss a lot of free throws. And it's like, hey, we were 25 out of 28. They went crazy. So they're happy about that. Um, but those are the type of things. To win this conference, you have to be able to knock down free throws as a team. And our bigs came up big uh, in this game for that. We knew in our backcourt we had All-American and we recruited some really good guards coming in. Um, but our goal was to, to uh, enhance our front court. And Justin Tucker was a kid we recruit, recruited all year long. Um, we have four captains and three of those guys are returners. He's a guy who just made an impact and all the guys came to me and was like, coach, I think we need a fourth captain and it has to be JT. So when you see things like that, I mean, he easily gets the crowd into it. I think he on the court, I think he's a guy that other teams do not have. And he's a lefty, inside post player, athletic, and he knows how to crash the boards, get rebounds. He puts them back in. He doesn't cry about it. And now our guys, because the last two years we haven't had that inside presence, you know, now they know how to feed him the ball. And that's what you saw today. And I, absolutely, uh, that's what we needed. We have a good little while before our game. I'm going to let the guys uh, spend some Thanksgiving time with their families and stuff. We didn't do that last year. Uh, so I didn't. I purposely didn't schedule any games next week. But I did, you know, they are coming back a little bit early the day after because, like you say, we have Florida College, top 20 team. We have Warner, who's won the regular season two years in a row. And we have a team that has just beat Warner uh, this past week or so. So we have some really good games, and our guys are focused. We're going to take one at a time. Next team up is Florida College, and I think we're going to be ready.